hope you are doing well today we're going to do a new kind of video which I have been seeing on YouTube like make dinner with me make lunch with me make breakfast with me and I thought I might as well but the reason let me just confess the reason why I've not been doing videos like that is because of this window here in my kitchen so you see the way my house is set up the generator is kind of like outside the kitchen so anytime I'm cooking and there's no light all you can hear is and you know, we can't tell when the power will go out or when it will come back. And you know, so things like that, they don't let videos like that go smoothly. But I decided I might do it, I will do it anyways, which I'm doing today because they all got lights now. And I just said to myself, you know, see, just, just do it. So if at any point in this video, you feel you can hear the sound of generator or you can't hear me talking in the kitchen, you're hearing the voiceover, you should know that Nepa has taken the light of PHCN. We no longer call it Nepa. PHCN has taken the power and we are using the generator and the noise will not allow me to talk while I'm cooking. So let's see how it goes. So today we're going to be making plantain pottage for dinner. I already have a recipe for like unripe plantain pottage but today we're going to be using ripe plantain pottage. And it's not ripe. I bought it yesterday, it was not ripe. But I looked at it this evening and it looked like it's almost ripe. So it's going to be semi-ripe plantain pottage but I need to get some chicken and I want some vegetables so I might have to go out and get it the sun is still shining it's like 6 p.m. so in the next 30 minutes everywhere is going to be dark so I want to quickly go out and get stuff and then we start cooking dinner so follow me and follow me on this whole process of I don't know I'm laughing you guys I don't know I'm laughing I'm laughing because I've not done this style before anyways follow me as I go and buy the things I need to make dinner because you are going to follow me and do the whole process um, this is not how I have my face every day I don't have makeup on every day it's just because I filmed the YouTube video today so I was like I might as well you see the spirit of filming is upon me today so that's why we're doing this video before I show you the plantain if you like this kind of videos, because since this is my first time doing this type or this style, if you like this kind of videos, leave a comment, click the like button, and if you're new on my channel, welcome, please subscribe. So this is where I kept my plantain. If I didn't want it to get ripe, I should have kept it in the fridge. You can see that it is not so so ripe, it still has bits of grain in it. And then that's what I guess they call semi ripe plantain. Sierra is doing diaper change. I don't know why that's making her crack. But, anyways, um, let me get my bag. How do you feel? Let's uh, uh. <laughs> cut fish here. It's been a long time since I ate croaker. Is it? Okay. Alright. Please, when you're cutting it, I don't want the head. Then so just two, remove the head. So like this one, I into how many pieces? After the head. One, two. Yeah, that's okay. Two, I mean. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm back from where I went to. Um, I did not buy turkey anymore. I wanted to buy turkey or chicken, but I didn't anymore. So I bought croaker fish. So I'm going to be making plantain pottage and croaker fish. So they already scraped the fish, but uh, I can still see some scales. So that's why I'm the scale. I've just put the pot on the cooker. I've added water. I'm going to add palm oil smoked fish, seasoning, pepper. This recipe is very simple. And then add the plantains. This palm oil for like a few 
a few weeks and it is so red it is so red that i feel like they added color to this palm oil this is like panla fish um roasted panla fish so i've just deboned them and put them in these ziploc bags so when i want to use it i just bring it out and um, add some so i'm going to add a bit now i'll add some more later I'm going to add seasoning, I'm adding onions, I'll add some pepper, anytime I'm cooking, or like I'm frying because it's usually frying pans that have like this long handle and I'm frying, I can hear my father's voice in my head saying put it like this so if you don't do it facing this way someone can be walking by and then just their hand or their dress can just get caught on the handle and then you have an accident so anytime I'm cooking with a long handle I remember oh yeah shoot the pot handle to the side since I fried fish like a very I'm sure it's been like maybe up to two years since I fried fish I want to put a bit of pepper in some this Check on the baby, and I forgot my oil on fire. Onions don't burn. We're going to manage it like that. <laughs> baby has been cranky, and I'm trying to put him to bed early. But I'm also cooking. Trying to multitask, it's not easy. I added green pepper and then I added curry and the pine. After the fish finishes fine, I'm going to add it to this.
guys, I've tasted it. It tastes so, so, so good. So the electricity went off before I finished cooking my meal, which I predicted that it would. So everywhere in the kitchen became noisy, that's why I couldn't talk. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm sweating, I am starving, I am ready to eat. The food looks so good, so good. And it smells so delicious. Like, you should try this. I hope you guys like this video and I hope I will do it again another time. It is quite stressful, but I'll try and do it another time. Please click the like button if you do and subscribe and leave me a comment. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!